Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. We've got quite an interesting case here. This is quite a good, clear example of when cotton wool in the ear has gone wrong. Now there's nothing sinister going on, but uh, what has happened is that this cotton wool mass has uh, pushed the wax a little further into the ear and also acted as a very effective tamponade or sponge essentially, um, soaking up all of the olive oil that the patient had previously applied. So what some people do is when they have an earwax blockage and they're applying drops, whether it's olive oil or sodium bicarb, they'll put a little piece of cotton wool just at the entrance of the ear to keep that, uh, that solution in there uh, in the hopes that it'll penetrate further and, and not drip back out and create a mess. Um, which is not the worst idea in the world, but in this particular case, there's just been far too much shoved in there uh, and it's not done the patient any favors. Uh, so now what we have is a rather uh, extensive earwax blockage here. Now, thankfully, um, it's absorbed a little bit of the oil and the canal is nicely lubricated. So what we're going to do with this suction probe is essentially just try and loosen it up by wiggling it back and forth. And uh, the, the movements that I'm doing here may appear um, quite fast, quite violent, but actually these are very small controlled movements in the ear canal. And what I'm trying to do is essentially sort of articulate this very awkwardly shaped large piece of earwax out of the ear canal, which is rather bendy. And uh, it's, it's really just about sort of going in circular movements and up and down side to side, just to try and get some position uh, and purchase on the earwax mass. And you'll see just as it's exiting out of the canal, it is a rather large, dark, oxidized piece of wax. And there we have it. So that coupled with the cotton wool plug is a rather extensive blockage in the air. You can see there's also a little sheet of dead skin on that earwax mass. And what we're left with is a rather clear ear canal. There are a few smatterings of wax there. Um, ideally, I would have liked to have left a, a nice protective coating around the ear canal to defend the patient from infection, um, but that just wasn't possible. So hopefully these little pieces that I've left in there will, uh, will defend against foreign bodies and, and bacteria.